Good day everyone, especially to our instructor, si Ms. Carla J. Palaris. I am Jake Polasala from Bachelor of Secondary Education. And for this video, we will be discussing uh, the grammar sources. But before, before we tackle our main topic, I will give you some info about what is grammar and importance of grammar. And after that, we will proceed to our main topic which is the grammar sources and the different types of grammar sources. So, let's go. So, what is grammar? Grammar is the rules of language governing the sounds, words, sentences, and other elements, as well as their combination and inter interpretation. This word grammar also denotes the study of these abstract features of book presenting these rules. And now, the importance of grammar. Grammar is important because it provides information that helps the reader's comprehension. It's structure that conveys precise meaning from the writer, writer to the audience. Eliminate grammatical errors from your writing and reward your readers with clear communication. Grammar explains the forms and structure of words called morphology and how they are arranged in sentences called syntax. In other words, grammar provides the rules for common use of both spoken and written language so we can more easily understand each other. And now, we're going to our main topic, which is the grammar resources. English is already the most common second language by number of speakers in the world, and more people begin studying it every day. Fortunately, the availability of learning resources is growing right along with the number of English learners. The grammar of language includes basic axioms such as verb tenses, articles, and objectives, and their proper order. How questions are phrased, and much more. Language cannot function without grammar. It would simply make no sense because people require grammar to communicate effectively. Speakers and listeners, others and their audiences must function in like system in order to understand to one another. In other words, a language without grammar is like a pile of bricks without more time to hold them together. While the basic components are present, they are. For their intents and purposes, useless. The grammar resources covers those aspects of grammar that we regularly see students struggling with or where are conventions that are specific to academic writing. The resources covers structure, sentence structure, and fragments. There are many different grammar resources available to language students or writers, which can help those grappling with reading or writing to better understand the rule of language. The internet is perhaps one of the best and most comprehensive resources for grammatical knowledge. Internet should be used by anyone who performing kind of research online. And of course, there are also numbered books available with a great deal of, of information regarding grammar and practical knowledge for writers and students. And classroom also can be used as grammar sources, especially classes or, or on language or, or grammar and students attending such classes often learn about grammar in general or specific aspect of language grammar resources typically refer to the books or other forms of media that can be used to clarify grammatical issue or learn about various grammatical rules the internet can be used as extremely expansive and informative resources for grammatical knowledge there are hundreds of websites for many different languages which provide the various rules and nonsense of grammar for those different languages, including websites meant to help people find other sites with one more information. Anyone using the internet as one his or her grammar resources should be careful. However, as not all its information is necessarily authentic and legitimate. A number of different books, magazines, and similar periodicals can be used as grammar resources by a student or writer. These books are typically written by writers or a team 
of a gra grammarians with extensive knowledge regarding applicable and practical rules of grammar. Some of the rules and guidelines presented in such books, in fact, go against popular knowledge of grammar and reflect modern trends in particular language. For example, often suggest that rules regarding ending sentences with preposition or splitting in infinitives are relics of Latin grammar that should be not applied to English. And that's all everyone. Thank you for watching my video presentation and have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you so much 